we've started the webinar and of course we have to give our guests a little bit of time to come in. So that's why the Halloween talk, well, I mean, that's what we were talking about before we went live. So <laughs> yes. Happy Halloween, everybody. Thanks happy Halloween. It with Halloween. Yeah. Happy birthday oh, to my dressed niece. Up. <laughs> oh, we should have, we should have worn costumes tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh, shocks. <laughs> <laughs> Next year, we'll be more prepared for the costumes. We'll do like a group thing. That would be fun. There you go. <laughs> that would be fun. Well, I'm going to um, get rolling a little bit and kind of do introductions. Um, Andrew Weaver is who I am. Um, I'm the most uh, frequent host of our webinar. We have, I think it's kind of like a special edition uh, this evening. Um, with me here, I have uh, Shandy Brinkman who is uh, co-hosting with me. Hi. And then we have Jody Robinson and Kat Fair. And Hello. we're going to, I think, have a really, a really good discussion today. One of the things that uh, we've we've just recently made available to quilters, long arm quilters, is our accelerate program, which is for people who are uh, running a quilting business or going to be running a quilting business. And um, Kat was kind enough to come back for us. She actually was interviewed once before on, on this webinar. And so I'm going to go right into the questions. And um, these are easy because you've answered them before, at least the first few. Um, what state are you from, Kat? I'm in Oregon. I'm from Massachusetts, but I currently live in Oregon. Mm hmm and how long have you been long arm quilting? About 10 years. And what made you decide to do long arm quilting? Oh my gosh, it's something I had wanted to add on to my business for a long, long, long time. And I would go to all the quilt shows with my friends or my mom or whoever and be like, oh, I want one of those. I really want <laughs> to do that. I really want to do that so badly. And um, when we moved here to Oregon, that just everything fell in place for me to finally be able to add that into my business. Okay. So I was going to ask if you got your machine specifically for business or yeah. <laughs> if the business was kind of an accident. I, uh, what was your, you had a business before that you added long arm quilting to. What was that? How would you describe that? Um, so I have machine embroidery. So I digitize and sell machine embroidery designs. And so I always wanted to add on and also do long arm quilting services at the same time. Makes sense. Uh, so why did you decide to get the Gamble machine when you got your machine? Because there's others you could have got. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to sound sappy, but partly because of you. Uh, every time I went, my neighbor had had a Gamble. And every time I went to a show, you were the dealer in the area. So you were there and we would ask you questions. You had no idea who I was. I didn't even own a machine. And you answered every question and you tried. I was trying to digitize designs for the long arm to work on my friend's camel. And you tried to help me and tried to help me. And the program I was using just wouldn't work. But you tried so hard. And I was just really touched by that. Um, but additionally, I would go around to all the shows and look at the different brands and what they were made of. And one of them in particular, I was like, this, this track is plastic. I would break this. So a big part of the gamble was I felt, and I still do feel that it's the best out there and it was going to be sturdy and last a long time. That's it. Uh, well, the first part of your answer was, I completely forget helping <laughs> you all that. I, I, uh, <laughs> Thanks. I remember delivering your machine. But <laughs> yep. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's neat. Um, so uh, your first machine, I know what model it was because I delivered it. It was a Statler. Yep. Um, and you, I believe you still have this machine today. Have you done any upgrades or anything on it? Yes. I upgraded to the Ascend in January. Okay. Awesome. Um, so when it was time to buy this machine 10 years ago, how mm -hmm. did you come up with the funds to do that? Um, we actually took out a home equity loan and did it that way through the bank. Mm -hmm. And that's how I financed the Ascend upgrade as well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that gives a really comfortable monthly payment. I was 
driving down the road in Missouri the other, well, three or four days ago, and I saw a billboard that said, um, it was for a local credit union, and uh, the billboard said, borrow $50,000 on a home equity loan for $319 a month. And I thought, wow, $319 a month uh, for $50,000, that's a long payoff period. But the thing, but the thing I was thinking about there is that um, it's a lot less anxiety producing to have a monthly payment that's real low because you can always get busy mm -hmm. and pay it off. Correct. Yeah. And back then the interest rates were a lot lower as well when I first got my machine. So that helps because I could just chunk money towards it every time I could. Mm -hmm. How long do you figure that it took you to pay off your machine? I think it was like four years. I think mm -hmm. not bad. You could have stretched no, it out for 20 or 30. <laughs> I could have. Yes. I don't think my husband would appreciate that, but I could have. Uh, okay. Um, how many hours per week would you say you quote for customers these days? That is a tough one to answer because there are other segments of my business. So um, I don't get in as many quilting hours as I would like. Mm -hmm. So that's a tough one for me to answer. Sorry. Okay, that's all right. Um, and I know your next question: How many quilts do I do a year? <laughs> also a or, tough one to answer. <laughs> sometimes people are willing to share their revenue. I know. I, I had somebody point out to me the other day. You know, uh, is it the revenue that I really do, or is it the revenue that I report? And it's like, well, I don't know. You'll have to be careful how you answer that question. Yeah. So um, for me, I do custom quilting you, mostly. And so I do a lot less quilts than a person that does a lot of edge to edge because each custom quilt can take me up to two weeks. Mm -hmm. And if I'm traveling or doing other stuff with my family, then maybe one custom quilt takes three weeks. So maybe I'm only doing one a month versus someone who's doing edge to edge and is doing like 12 a month or whatever. So I think a, a question that's easier or safer to answer is um, how long might somebody wait if they were to bring you a custom quilt that they need to have done and they're not in a particular hurry. So it's just going to kind of go through the normal process. How long are they going to wait for that to get back? You're not going to like my answer. <laughs> right now my schedule is at 11 months 11 months yeah I do a lot of traveling and yeah. I have a whole bunch of custom quilts in there right so right yeah. I I actually don't mind that answer at all I've had a lot of people tell me that the way they knew that there was room in their local market for another long arm quilter was when they couldn't get a quilt back in any kind of a reasonable time. And so they're like, well, clearly there must be like the people that are doing the quilting are doing all the work they want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, I actually do that. If someone comes to me and they need it faster than I can get it done, I send them to my neighbor down the street who has two gamels. She's so lucky. Um, and so I send them off to her and then she fits them into her schedule a lot, lot faster than I can. So clearly you have all the business you have time to handle. Yeah, I'm okay. very blessed. So let's shift gears and talk a little bit about the Accelerate program. Um, okay. Sh Shandy, do you want to yeah. take over some of the grilling here? <laughs> that. So Kat, you had a chance. Oh, go ahead, Andrew. I was just going to say you might explain how Kat knows more about it than the average cat. <laughs> than the average cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, we're blessed, Kat and Jody are actually both on our education team at Gamel. So they've had a chance to kind of be our test subjects with the Accelerate program and, and take a close look at it and provide some feedback for us on it. Um, and so Kat has, so Kat, can you just tell us a little bit about, um, about the Accelerate program since you have some experience with it? Yeah, I think it's, it's awesome. So the Accelerate program is for long armors who want to start a business or are starting a business, or you're in the middle of business and you just have all these questions and what are the steps, et cetera, et cetera. Cause it can be kind of overwhelming if you don't have someone who lives two doors down from you, you know, guiding you along the way, there's business licenses and taxes and all sorts of stuff. And this program walks you through that. Like 
this step by step by step and there's workbooks and printouts and templates and just all sorts of cool stuff. Awesome. Um, so what kind of struggles did you encounter when you first started your business? And, you know, how do you think that Accelerate might have helped with those if that was something you'd had at that time? Yeah, um, definitely the things like um, the social media, um, getting customers. It took a long time for me to get a customer base. Um, there was a couple other things and I was going through it again, like the printouts with here's an intake sheet example. And just little things like, I don't know, if you, maybe an intake sheet's not a little thing, but, you know, that's stuff that you might not think about. Like, gee, when the customer comes, I have to have some kind of form to write it down. And how am I going to organize this? And where am I going to put all these quotes and all these forms and just things like that. And it would have been nice to also have like that one-on-one -on -one coaching with someone who is in business right now. And it's a safe place. I can ask any questions I want and not feel silly, you know? So that would be really cool too. Uh, you mentioned the one-on-one -on -one coaching. Can you mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that part, portion of the program? Yeah. So you get every month, you get one one-on-one -on -one coaching call. It's an hour long and you can um, set the date and time. And you tell us what you want to have answered. Like, what are your questions for that month? And then we pair you up with one of our educators and get to get all your questions answered and more. So it's going to be so fun. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> right. Um, let's see. So what do you think, um, who do you think would benefit from the program the most? Anybody, anyone that's like, wanting to do a business or even having a business or just starting a business or even if you're thinking about maybe having a business because I mean those coaching calls alone are going to be worth so much and like I said there are a lot it's a lot of information in the classes including like how to figure out your business license your business name just everything you could need to know to start or grow or keep going with your business is in there. Like I was just like, Whoa, and it's going to keep growing. We're going to keep adding more and more stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, I was just thinking, and we're figuring this out as we go, but Shandy, um, why don't we, why don't we, uh, pause a little bit on this? Cause it seems like a lot of these questions would be good for us to get Jody to chime in on those. Yeah, agree. So yeah. um let me let me catch Jody up to where Kat is at and then we can have you guys answer these questions together. Okay. Uh if it feels like we're building the plane as we fly it, we are. I've not done this particular type before. Uh normally the webinar is a different structure. Okay, so uh Jody, where uh where are you from? It's Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and you've been long arm quilting how long? Mm, 26 years. You started young. Uh, I did. What did you decide to long arm? Uh, it really wasn't my decision so much. <laughs> it was that my, my mother-in-law decided she wanted a long arm and she wanted someone to pay for half of it. And so she I'm like, okay, well, I mean, I had made two quilts, I think at that point. And so we went and we tried someone's and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I can do this. She, and I'm like, people pay you to do this? Yeah, they do. I'm like, okay, yeah, let's do it. So it, it was kind of just, it wasn't really something I was looking for. It was just, she pushed me into it, which I'm glad she did now. I believe you may be the first person that ever had their mother-in-law push them that I've interviewed. <laughs> yeah. But how lucky was that? I mean, I know. Lucky. Yeah. Um, so uh, when you got your machine, you knew even before you paid for half of it, that it was going to be a business. Yes. Okay. Um, and then um you were looking at all the different brands. What was the deciding factor for getting a Gamel machine? So 
that back then it wasn't there wasn't so many machines you know there was a less than a handful probably that you would look at and so then my husband looked at all the pamphlets because you really weren't going in person even and he's like oh you have to buy this camel because it's metal everything inside is metal this is going to last these other ones have a lot of plastic and yeah he's like no you're not getting those Mm -hmm. was he right he was right (laughs) (laughs) it's important for men to hear every once in a while that they were right (laughs) yeah um so did you start with a hand guided machine or computerized hand guided we bought a classic 26 inch used mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then how long did you have that machine or do you still have it no so i worked with my mother-in-law for about a year and that was plenty mm-hmm. and i decided i needed my own machine at my own house <laughs> So right. I bought a used Premier. Okay. So that's the 18 inch machine. Yeah. And I just told her you can just have that one because, you know, it was too much to figure out and I'm not going to pay anymore. You just take it and have it. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. And so um, is that still the machine you do most of your work on today or have you upgraded or traded up or? Yeah, I have the um, Vision 2 22 with the Elevate now. I do still have my 18. I just don't have room to have two set up at the same time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, how, wait, wait. Nope, you already answered that, how you came up with the funds to purchase the machine. You came up with half. Yeah, and then when I bought my own, <laughs> I... I had got some money when my grandparents passed away Mm -hmm. and I didn't want to spend it, but because they were designers, I knew that they would like for me to use that money for a creative thing, but I still didn't want to spend the money. So I borrowed from myself and paid myself back. Mm -hmm. So that was, I understand that. Um, So, uh, how much quilting do you do for customers these days? I mean, I know you do some for yourself. Yeah, mostly for myself now. Mm -hmm. Um, When we started doing the tour, I very quickly realized that, you know, you would, you travel a lot and you come home to have to do five or six quilts before the next one. And I was like, okay, we can't, I can't do this. Gotcha. Gotcha. That makes sense. Okay, so now we're kind of caught up together and we're back to the Accelerate uh, discussion. So let me just kind of go back to like what kind of struggles, Jody, did you have when you were starting your business that maybe the Accelerate would have helped you with? Probably a lot because it wasn't, gosh, way back then, it, it there just weren't, the resources like you couldn't just check other people's prices because there really weren't that many people doing it as a business so that was just kind of like a trial and error thing like we'd come up with a price and do it and then realize you know you tell them how much their bill is and they're like that's it we're like oh okay we're clearly not charging enough we're (laughs) you know so it there's a lot I mean because we had no idea and to try to get business, it, it wasn't even like everyone wasn't on the internet. So it was like, you'd go to shops. Can we hang a sample? Can we, yeah, it would have been very helpful <laughs> back when we started. Cause we were just kind of in the dark. Um, again, so the, I think one of the cool things about the Accelerate program too, and you all probably know this as well, but so it's an extensive online library of resources plus the monthly coaching, um, but there's also the aspect of the new owner training part of it too. So that's kind of a cool thing. Can you talk about that just a little bit? Sure. I'll go first, I guess. (laughs) Um, What I like about that is... um, it's divided into tracks. So if you're an Elevate user, there's an Elevate version. If you're a Statler user, there's a Statler version. 
Um, and it, it walks you through like step by step, everything, how to use the machine. It's, it's really great. I don't know what else to say about like, I feel like I'm just well, bragging, but the, yeah, I wish I'd had that when I had gotten my machine 10 years ago, cause it would have asked a lot of questions and given me the right answer instead of having to scroll through Facebook groups and try 20 different answers to see which one might possibly be the right one. It would have been great to just be able to go, boop, oh, look, there it is. Now I know how to do that. Well, and I think too, one of the best things about the new owner training is it's not like when you get a machine and someone comes there and gives you the, you know, the how to, you're so excited about the machine mm -hmm. and a little bit afraid and, and all of that. You don't, I don't think that we took in what they even told us really. Where with the new owner training, you can go back to it over and over, watch the videos as much as you need. You know, it's it's a lot more, you know, usable, I guess, when you need it. Yeah, that's a good point, how you can go back and keep rewatching. Over the years, as I've um, spoken with people, I can't tell you how many of them uh, said something along the lines of, um, I just quilted for myself or charity quilts for, you know, six months or a year or two years before I felt comfortable taking a customer quilt. And I think about all the monthly payments they made on their machine and all the income that they could have made, but, you know, and eventually they did, they eventually they got launched. But what I think is really cool is like with the accelerate program, um, you don't like, if you want to take it slow, cause you've got all the money and all the time in the world, that's fine. But you, you certainly don't have to, you know, you can, you can launch a lot quicker. Yeah. So. It's definitely aptly named <laughs> to accelerate that process of uh, learning your machine and, and figuring out your business. So, so, um, you know, you all are experienced business owners. I mean, Jody, you've got 26 years, Kat, you've got 10 years, but are there things in the program that you, you found helpful to you, even as an experienced business owner? I do. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Jody. Oh, go you ahead, go Kat. first this time. No, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> I did for sure, because I'm someone who, you know, we figured it out eventually, you know, and just kind of when we split, I operated my business the same way that we did when we were working together. And I really never changed a thing because it, it worked. You know, I it may, and I know for a fact, they weren't all the best business practices in the world, but you know, it worked. And so I just never, there were a lot of things I saw there that I'm like, oh, I would do that now because I, you know, maybe I just don't like change. I don't know, but you know, it's, yeah, I would be much more interested in some of that business stuff for sure. Yeah. Um, for me, one of the things has like a list of vendors and even though I knew most of them, there was a couple on there that surprised me. And I was like, oh, look at this. Um, and then also the stuff about like the CPA and the taxes, because I'm going to have to hire an accountant this year. And so I was like, okay, we're definitely going to go back and re read this line for line, because that's going to be very helpful. Um, I was going to ask, let's talk about the customer communication part. I mean, something that we hear from a lot of our customers is that they struggle with things like the intake process, um, how to communicate with a customer when there's some problems with the quilt, um, you know, and, and th like the old thing of like, you know, I can take apart the quilt and remake it for you, but it's going to cost you. Um, how can this program help a person with those situations? Do you want to start, Kat? Um, sure. Yeah. As you go through it, it has a lot of helpful helpful suggestions on um, how to educate your customers, but also things that you should talk to them about when you're bringing doing the intake or when you're picking out threads and patterns, et cetera, et cetera. So it has a, a lot of ways to guide you through that communication process. Jody? Yeah, I think that that is a a very individualized thing too. So it's nice to see the specifics, you know, here's a, an example intake form and here's, you know, 
because everyone you're going to everyone's probably going to do it a little bit differently but to at least get that idea you know some people meet people in quilt shops so maybe you don't you know you may not operate exactly the same but yeah i think that's my favorite thing about the whole program is that it's specific you know you could read business book after business book or you could take a business class but like i think we're in a niche market and so it, there's just so many of those little things like okay do this to be successful in this and this and this but in long arming we need those things okay but like what should my form look like what should you know which seem like stupid little things but they're like super important right we need to know these things Mm -hmm. um so one of the really cool parts about the program at least that i think so is the the um, pattern cloud um, business account um are either of you using this currently if you are go ahead and tell me how you're using it and or how you plan to use it sure i just actually started working on mine today um and it was kind of cool because you can go in and write like a little bio about yourself or put your pricing in there and it's actually already like pre-written so if you want to just use what's in there you can but change the pricing and change the business name to your business name um what I like about it a lot is you can create your own sets so like I just created one that said edge to edge patterns and the price that I charge for those specific patterns because they're fast for me to do so now and someone says hey I'm thinking of you know, hiring you, I can send them the link to that and go, okay, pick from these 10 patterns, you know, so at least they have an idea when they come to me for the, to drop off their quilt, what they might want. So that's going to be really helpful. Hopefully save some time at drop off because those drop off appointments can be like an hour long. If people are, going, I don't know if I like that one. I don't know if I like this pattern. What about this pattern? It's really overwhelming to them. So now I can send them a link and go, okay, choose from this 10. Or, you know, if I know yeah. 20 baby quilt patterns or whatever, versus having to sit there and go through while they're at my house. Yeah, I think it's hard when you have them like that, when they come to your house, especially, and it's over, not only overwhelming, but like you, you have to limit what you show them because, mm -hmm. you know, to a certain, you know, which that's going to make that nice because you can put in there what you want to offer. And here they are and, and you can pick it. I mean, I can remember taking pick, you know, taking screenshots mm -hmm. of patterns and then you email them and then you have to wait for them to email back where now they could just go right there, pick what they want. And the process is just faster and easier. Mm -hmm. For sure. I was going to ask Kat, is that similar mm -hmm. with you working with customers? Do you usually before this program, they would look through your patterns at your house or would you do the same kind of thing back and forth with screenshots? Um, it depends on who they are and where I'm meeting them. Some people um, are uncomfortable driving. I live way out in the country and they're uncomfortable driving here. So if I meet them in town and they give me the quilt and then I come home and I have to do the, the screenshot thing, whether it's via text message or via email, okay, here's five choices, pick one. And that is so time consuming. So mm -hmm. for sure, now I'm just going to send them the link. And I think even if people that are coming that do want to come to my house, it's still going to save me time if I send them the link and go, okay, it's a baby quilt. Sure. Choose from these, get them in and out faster so I can go back to quilting. <laughs> well, you certainly don't get paid for the time it takes to help people pick a pattern. Correct. Yes. Um, so I'll, I think I'll address this one to Jody and then let Kat take it later, but uh, what about those people who haven't started a business yet, but they're thinking about it? Is this something that they should wait until they've already got their machine and they're up and running? Or can it help them, you know, at the very, very beginning? I think you would get it in the very, very beginning. Because you even if you don't necessarily intend to have a business or you think maybe I'm going to quilt for a year or two and then do it, I think it's it would be really good to know where that's, where you're going. Do you know what I mean? And what's going to be involved? Because I, I think, 
you know, you think I'm going to be a long arm quilter. I'm going to get the machine and I'm going to take people's quilts and I'm going to get paid. But there's just so, so much more to it than that. So if you know ahead of time, you know, you can prepare and do things slowly and be ready when you do decide to do it. Mm -hmm. And I was just going to add, especially since it comes with the new owner training, so you can start going through how to use your machine before you even get it. So when it's delivered, if you have any questions right up front, that's a perfect time to ask. Mm -hmm. I, I figure I should mention that the um, the Accelerate program is is available to anyone at any time if they, um, we do have a promotion running right now through the 8th where uh, you can get it uh, with the purchase of your machine. Um, but also we, we do expect that people who have older machines or who, uh, who got their machines years ago or whatever, a lot of those people are going to want this program and perhaps even people who, um, who have a different brand of machine, uh, who are facing challenges in their business or just want to optimize what they're doing. Uh, there's certainly nothing in the program other than the, um, other than the, uh, I was going to say that the uh, pattern cloud business uh, page, that's something that is pretty much strictly for people with computerized gamble machines. Because if you do hand guided, that's not going to help you in your business. But I think it will help a lot of people. Um, Shandy, do, did we have any other questions? I lost track of where I was on my list. <laughs> I think we skipped around. Um, Jody touched on this, well, you both touched on this a little bit, but can we talk just a little bit about some of the technical resources? I, I can imagine that would just be so overwhelming when starting a business, like you mentioned with the, the taxes and the business license and starting a website and all of that. Can you just kind of talk through how the program helps with that, with those technical aspects a little bit? Jody, you want to go first? No. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, well, I think that's, for me, that would be the most useful, honestly, where I, to be just brand new and starting out because I'm not, that's not my strong suit. Like I'm not the business person. I know you need to get these things, but I'm, I just want to get quilting, you know? So you need to know those things or else you could find yourself in possibly, you know, some trouble, you know, which licenses do you need? All of those things. And you obviously need to check too about your specific area because not every state's the same, not every, even county is the same anyway here. Um, so that stuff is really important to know. It's not the fun stuff, but it's important stuff. <laughs> yeah especially like you said how it's different in every state and county it's different also when you start your business in one state and then you move to another state so um and then the whole like let's build a website like whoa so many people just would not even know where to start and so not only does it give you examples of like different types of websites but it even shows you like a little <laughs> bit <laughs> add a product to your website, blah, blah, blah. And um, different hosting options and stuff like that. I was really, really surprised. I'm like, wow, there's a lot of great information in here that would have been great to know, you know, 10 years ago. Cause that was the hardest part for me was starting my website. It took forever. That was one thing I did think when I was looking at the Pattern Cloud business account is that if you didn't have a website yet, that ideally could kind of function as, you know, an interim website, really, because you can put your information, your pricing, you know, until you have yeah. that ready to go. That's a great idea. I think um, another kind of question that comes up too is, you know, this is a very niche market. So something else we have to look at is, the options that you have to look at when you're starting a business. So like your thread, your batting, all of that, how you're going to help your customers make the right decisions. 
Um, are there some resources for that in the program as well? Yeah, there are. And um, it also goes through like, do you want to um, carry backing or other fabrics to offer for sale and the benefits and pros and cons of doing so? And yeah, it goes through a lot of that stuff. Yeah. And that, those are the kind of things that some people may want to do that type of thing, right? And carry all the different things. Some people don't. Like I never, I don't have the room for that. I never really did. And so I kind of had to be very limited on that kind of stuff. But, you know, there, there's a lot to know. And the other thing is that it's going to change probably even within your business as you go. And when you watch the videos, you can kind of see some insight into, you know, why someone might choose one product over another to carry or. Mm -hmm. And I love that they're videos. Me too. Because <laughs> I like videos as opposed to reading a lot of text. Are there, go ahead, Andrew. Well, I, I think I've pretty well uh, gone through everything that I had, everything that we had that we were going to go over. I, I was just thinking about how many times when people are starting businesses, they kind of are bumping around blind in the dark, you know, and then, you know, you look back five or 10 years later and you certainly built something, but it often wasn't very intentional. And a lot of times you're still, you know, kind of stuck with decisions that you made back when you had no idea what you were deciding. You didn't even realize you were making a decision, you know. And so we certainly hope that this will help people a lot. Um, does anybody have anything else they want to add before I wrap it up? Any burning thoughts or questions or encouragement? No? I think one of the biggest things that I think is, I don't know, like the best with this program, and both new owner training and the Accelerate, is the webinar things the Q and A's, the live Q and A's, the coaching, because like you can ask things and not be, you know, ever, especially if it's one-on-one -on -one and you don't have to feel like you have a silly question, right. you know, and, and, and everyone's business isn't the same. So maybe you need, you know, maybe you're offering, I don't know what, like home deck stuff as opposed to doing quilts. So maybe you need a little different, you know, things in your business than someone who were doing quilts. So you'd be able to talk to someone about that. I love that stuff. It's a human. It's a human right. touch. It's not just reading information. Almost like a mentor type programmer. Mm -hmm. Phone a friend when you need help. Phone, Phone a friend. friend. I like that. <laughs> Well, cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight and helping with explaining how that Accelerate program works. Um, I'll I'll just kind of mention real quickly that even though this was a, a special episode, I encourage if people have not subscribed to the podcast on their favorite platform, you can do a search on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or Google Pod Podcasts and maybe other places as well um, for Quilting Business Success. Three words, Quilting Business Success, and you should be able to find it and subscribe to it. We also have some of the episodes at this point that have been uploaded to YouTube, and you can find them there on the Gamble channel on YouTube, and probably the same search term will work there as works on a podcatcher. Um, if you know how to uh, leave reviews, we would sure appreciate a five-star review. Um, if it wouldn't, it would only take a moment of time to do that. We would sure appreciate that. Andrew, so, I also want to mention um, if anybody would like more information about the Accelerate program, they can go to info.gamel.com backslash accelerate. And I'm sure we'll put that in the show notes as well. If anybody has any questions there, it's um, you can choose to, it's a one-year program, but you can choose to either subscribe and um, do a monthly payment with that, or you can um, 
purchase, you know, the full year flat out. And there's actually, um, there's the sale where it comes <clears throat> included with a new machine or retrofit that Andrew mentioned is going on through November 8th, but there's also a discount on the uh, one year payment mm -hmm. through the end of this year. So through December 31st, 2023. Mm -hmm. So just wanted to mention that if anybody isn't curious about checking out the program. And it's a little dangerous for me to do math on the fly, but I'm, <laughs> I'm going to suggest that if a person was to run their business better and just better enough to do an extra quilt a month, they would pay for the program. So it's hard to imagine not running your business better enough to get one extra quilt a month just by having the program. I have a feeling that it's impossible to lose with this with this program. So so go do it. Go order it <laughs> and do yourself a favor. <laughs> All right. Well thanks guys so much for joining us and thank you Shandy for uh helping me with this. And we will be back here next week on the same channel with a couple new guests. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.